ones, there are only ifs. <laughs> For my wife, Lise. I'll be right there. After all, wouldn't want to keep the marriage counselor waiting. And besides, marriage counseling is good. Like having your appendix removed is good. And marriage takes work because it's hard. Like a Rubik's Cube designed by a drunk Vulcan. Hard. In fact, marriage is so hard, it makes every other human achievement pale in comparison. You climbed Everest alone with no oxygen? blindfolded and naked with a minibus on your back? Big deal. Try scaling Mount Matrimony. Amateur. But our marriage is not a mountain. It is an abandoned monastery haunted by the ghosts of our fractured upbringings. The childhood traumas we thought we had outgrown, but were growing within us. It is a war, and we are child soldiers holding hand grenades handed to us by alcoholic and AWOL fathers, deserted and depressed mothers. The counselor tells me this is a necessary excavation, calls it the archaeology of intimacy, asks about my childhood. Memories uncoil like angry snakes. God, it's hot in here. Why are you crying? I am trying. Why is it so hard to change? And when all that remains are lawyers and court orders when our friends have all fled the scene, shall we scream, A2 Brute to empty hallways, spend afternoons Facebooking our war wounds and torrent from their moorings? Will our passport hearts really be free? Is there a land where they don't understand the language of memory? And should my next wife be a trophy? A younger, slimmer, sexier model? Shall I trade my self-respect for hot sex and a Viagra bottle? No. Because it was you who rolled the stone from my tomb. You who brought the desert into bloom. And when they dust my heart, it is your fingerprints they will find. I know you like the river knows the sea. And after all these years, your skin still tastes like home. So I will go with you every week to the relationship garage, waltz our ghost to the beat of the artillery barrage, and I will lay down my arms and pray that you will lay down your arms that we may lay down in each other's arms one more time. Call it the miracle's unlikely resurrection. Call it Armistice Day. Call it love.